The Market Watch and Keith Fitzgerald, Independent Women's Forum's uh, Gail Trotter, and Conservative Review's Chief Political Correspondent Deneen Borelli. Deneen, um, let me begin with you and how you think the general comported himself here in the light of, uh, of these attacks. The president uh, spilled the beans on something he shouldn't have. Well, I think uh, McMorris, uh, Mc, McMasters, excuse me, set the record straight. And we wanted to hear from uh, these leaders in the White House what happened. Um, you know, Neil, what I think we're witnessing with President Trump is that he is fighting a lot of forces right now. You look at the biased media, from what I was reading, the Washington Post was celebrating the fact that they had so much traction with this uh, news story. Uh, you look at Democrats who will do and say anything to block pr uh, President Trump and his efforts. There's also the deep state intelligence within the administration and with the leaks that really need to be uh, taken care of. And then you have the squishy Republicans like Bob Corker who ran with the headline from this Washington Post story saying that the administration is in a downward spiral, didn't even have all of the facts. So President Trump is fighting on a lot of fronts here. So what we really need is to really get to the bottom of the leaks, uh, get Republicans on board with his agenda, and hold the uh, media uh, accountable, the biased media accountable for a lot of the false reporting that they're doing. You know, I can understand the attacks on the biased media and all of that, Gail. I think there is ample ground to get into that. I, I do think, though, that the, the fact that this kind of thing keeps happening and the administration then maybe quite properly goes to who the heck is leaking this stuff, it's leaking out. And it's leaking out either in an effort to embarrass the president or to say, aha, there he goes again. But do you think, is there a concern that this president uh, talks too much? Certainly people think that, but he's very effective at political jujitsu. And I think General McMasters just gave a scathing but calm indictment of the leaking that is being promulgated by people who have no authority. But does that to... worry you in and of itself, just that, Gail, that it does keep happening, these leaks keep happening? And it might be a battle with the intelligence agencies, fair enough. The two have had an acrimonious relationship since the campaign. But it doesn't seem to be dying down now that he's the commander-in-chief. If anything, it seems to be picking up a pace. I don't think it's picking up. I mean, he's had constant uh, criticism by the mainstream media who are working in concert with the leakers in this administration, imperiling our national security. And unfortunately for the mainstream media, they think that continuing with hysteria, lies, and fake news will make them more successful at derailing all those things you pointed out, tax reform, uh, making sure that we get regulatory reform, getting an infrastructure deal. But I think it's going to back fire on the mainstream media because they don't understand that they're undermining themselves. Their, their approval rating is at an all-time low as well. And the constant attacks on President Trump and his administration is going to backfire. They, they have become part of this resistance movement, and yet they see that he is advancing on with his agenda despite their efforts to the contrary. Maybe that is what the market sees because left or right, uh, you know, red or blue, Keith, I mean, they do want, that is, to see these tax cuts come to fruition, this health care fix come to fruition, maybe some of them this infrastructure stuff and the boost that could give the economy come to fruition. But when we get developments like this uh, and the markets seem to ignore it, is it their way of saying we don't think this will develop into much? Well, I think you're absolutely well, right. Well, keep first, keep you... first, and I will go to you, Denise. Sorry, right. sure. Well, understand the psychology of traders here, Neil, because this is what this really hits on. Traders don't have the luxury of playing red or blue. They don't have the luxury of taking sides. They have the responsibility associated with trillions of dollars of real money and real assets in a real future. So they are very pragmatic about this, you know, and I know I'm one of them. What we're looking at, what they're looking at is, does this materially affect the certainty or the uncertainty of our profit potential five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the line? That's what's going Going on with traders. So if they're looking at this and they're holding steady, what they're saying is they don't care about the leaks. Let that stuff get sorted out because it will. What they care about is that this materially does not undermine the profit potential associated with the best companies. It does not undermine any of the things so that's associated still, with the that's unstoppable still the trends case. That that's follow. what you still think. All right. Deneen, uh, do you, worry, and I know you have been very supportive of when this sort of stuff you know, blows up to back the president here, but do you think there is something in his manner? This is not to disparage him, maybe his outsider status going into the White House, that he is not familiar uh, with the comportment, political conformity, how you deal with these things, um, that, that, you know, it's the old line, loose lips sink ships, and that 
he's in danger doing that in, in freewheeling discussions, that the very thing that got him elected, the president could hurt him as president. <laughs> Well, he is certainly not your career politician, Neil. He is not part of the establishment. And that was the appeal to voters, and that is why he got elected. And the other thing is that he is able to get his message around the biased media through tweeting or going to these rallies in the states where people flock there in the thousands because they want to support President Trump and they want to hear his message directly. So I think a lot of this has to do with the media and the Democrats. They are unable to control President Trump. And that is a lot of part of the reason why we're seeing all of these leaks and other things that are happening because they are fighting him in every aspect that they can. Um, Gail, do you think he keeps providing them ammunition, though? No, they're looking for it. Think about when President Obama ordered our intelligence communities to release confidential classified information to the communist Cuba government. Did the mainstream media have a hysterical reaction to that and write article after article about how that was damaging our national security? They didn't. So it's not that, am, that President Trump is providing the ammunition. It's that he is actually doing what he set out to do in his campaign promises. And Washington, D.C. and the mainstream media want to derail it at all costs. Kate, final word? I tell you what, diplomacy does not come down to sound bites. And I think the press, regardless of which side they fall on, false, true, right, wrong, right, left, right, does not understand the nature of the game being played here. Somehow as if it's fantasy land. And that to me is the most disturbing part of all this. They'd rather see Rome burn and 330 million Americans hurt in the process to prove a point. All right, guys, thank you very much.